Hello, everybody. Hope everybody's doing fine. I really do. I, I, I really do. And I want you to understand, you had not heard me do any much talking on this. And the reason why is because, in my personal opinion, the news speaks for itself, the live stream. Well, now that we got all the media involved and martial law in that state. It's time to say something. Now this fella right here, I'm not saying anything bad about him. I don't want everybody to understand that or the guy that's talking before him. And I don't care if you're white, black, green, purple, uh, Asian, uh, Indian, I don't care who you are. I don't care. Racial divide in this country needs to go away. It always has. It's always been a corporate entity to keep people distracted with some sort of race, some sort of hatred between races. It keeps you in line, keeps you in control one side against the other because you can't comp you're not concentrating on them when you're fighting amongst yourselves that's the way it's always been and the way it'll always be as long as this kind of stuff happens this video and this video that Dabu7 put out I want y'all to see I'm gonna put it on the web page and I'm gonna put it on this one right here the one I put up this morning this one, the other two that I got are full. So I get too much on there and you can't open the page correctly. Okay. I can add a couple more videos to this one. So I'm going to add it here. I'm going to add both of those videos because I want y'all to see them. I want you to understand what this man said the day, the morning before last night. I do. I want you to hear. I want you to understand. I want you to listen to it. Maybe twice. Maybe three times if you have to. Listen in the way he words it. And what he says about his own son. He feels for the parents of that young man. That got killed. And I don't disagree with him. I feel for his family as well. Now did the boy do wrong well all chances says that he does he or he did and he probably did is that any reason for him to get shot no it's not it's just not in this video he's sitting there talking to this guy or this guy's asking questions and he's a member of the black party okay and back over here where the sheriff oh, and go far enough where the sheriff's talking he tells everybody that that man helped him on Thursday night okay well, if he helped him on Thursday night, and people are so blind to follow that guy, why do they need a leader at all? Why can't they just follow themselves? And I got one other thing I got to ask. I got to ask this. And I want y'all's answer. I do. Why does it always happen at night? The cover of darkness. That's what happens at night. It shouldn't happen after dark. It should shut down at dark. It should. If you want to keep this civil and peaceful, it shouldn't go after dark. Unless you're going to the store or something and you're passing people. But you don't need to be gathered up in the crowds after dark. Why? Because you have infiltrators. Mm-hmm. 
people that are inside your group that you don't know about that's creating havoc and chaos for y'all. That's right. They are. And they're going to continue to do so because they got it in the mainstream media right now. And this guy, but mainly this guy, what is his agenda? He says it in this video. I want you to watch it. That's why I want you to watch it. He says his, their own agendas. So they're creating an agenda of their own. So now we got all these people involved in something that doesn't even know what the actual truth is of the real agenda should be for the people. It should be someone in the organization or in that hometown having their own their own feelings. And I don't mean some crazy lunatic thug that wants to kill the world. I'm talking about someone that's honest and legit with themselves. And they ain't part of the corporate greed in the corporate entity. The corporate greed is destroying this country. This this right here may destroy our freedoms people all the way. And I'm not kidding. You got martial law there. How much longer is it going to take before this kind of rioting starts all over the country? It only takes us one spark to get a fire started. But once you get it started and you blow enough hot air on it or the wind in the right direction, the fire escalates, doesn't it? California, it runs up hill, burns up a hill and runs down the other side, burns up houses. It's the same thing. Whichever way the wind's blowing is going to carry this story to some other country, or not country, but state or city. Last night it spread in this city, in their cities, around uh, St. Louis, Missouri. How long, folks, are you going to take for y'all to understand that this is propaganda? What about, what about the Ebola virus? Everybody was so hopping heavy on it. Alex Jones was running four or five pages on it. I had a couple of pages on it. Everybody had a page on the Ebola virus. Ain't it kind of odd that when this comes out, all that stops and nobody's worried about getting sick no more? Isn't that odd? That's how every story that has come across in the last four years that I know of. One's hot. Another one comes out, knocks the other one out. That's the way it goes. Nobody continues to push the old stories because, well, they ain't getting no views. Do you see my point yet, folks? And now, if they don't like the way you talk, they censor everything you do. Facebook, Twitter. Doesn't matter. Hell, you can own your own website now. They'll censor it too. Or make you think they are. Mm hmm. You heard me. Folks, it's all up to y'all. But please go watch this video for yourselves. Pass the message about you don't have to do any of this after dark. It can be all done during the daytime where there's no violence and no one can create something without telling on themselves. Don't do it in the shadows of darkness. When you deal in the shadows of darkness, you get darkness. Remember that. The more times you hide in the dark, the more shadows of darkness is going to creep up on you. So if you hide in the dark to do something wrong and you know it's wrong, then you're just part of the problem. You're riding into the darkness. 
you may come out and be able to repent your sins. But karma is a bad thing. Generally, when you do something bad, it comes back on you. Do something good, it comes back to you too. But when you do stuff bad, karma is a bad thing. And it's a bitch too. Damn big one. So folks, think about what I just said. Before you run down there to the pile up at night, don't you can do your part during the day. You don't have to be out there and making a fool of yourself at night. You don't. You do it all during the day. Show your proudness. And be straightforward, people. Don't be a shadow in the darkness. Because if you are, part of the problem. So with that, folks, from my cold dead hands, abolish corporate government. So we don't have to deal with corporate thugs and thieves and criminals. That wants to steal your rights of being free and sovereign. And not sovereign citizen, but sovereign, God-loving person that God gave rights to from the day one that they were born. So with that, much love to y'all. Y'all have a good day, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I really do. Closed section for updates every day. Abolish corporate government from my cold, dead hands.